A local surgeon and very good friend of mine is using one of the latest developments in stem cell research to save lives, many lives. And I'd like to welcome Dr. Mike Coomgen to Prime Time. Welcome to Prime Time. So afternoon. I'm trying to get you on the set for so long. It's so exciting what you're doing, and I respect you so much. So um, please, let's share with the viewers, our audience, about all this exciting um, you know, all of the surgeries you've done with the stem cell patches and everything else. Sure. I've been working with this uh, company called Core Matrix for about uh, five years. They started in 2001 with a, a novel idea that's really taken off and is, has a lot of different applications. And what they found is that um, if you take the uh, tissue that your body has, mm -hmm. there's a, uh, it's similar to the architecture of the tissue, like a skyscraper. Mm -hmm. If you take away all the cells and you just have what's left, like the girders when you're building a skyscraper, mm -hmm. and that's called the interstitium, or it's the lattice work that the cells can build. So if you can provide that lattice work in any part of the body, then your body still has stem cells in every part of tissue that you have. And those stem cells see that lattice work and they fill it in with whatever tissue you have. So for example, this technology uh, started with uh, pericardium, which is the lining of the heart. And we used to take a patch and sew it over the heart mm -hmm. after we finished. And four months later, it would be completely normal tissue. And, and so you're repairing hearts? Well, and so far, yeah, since the last couple of years, I've repaired a, I can tell you the stories, there's a couple of interesting ones, but I've repaired a trachea and a young 30-year-old male that had a cancerous tumor that couldn't be taken out any way. And if you took out the space of the trachea, which is the breathing tube to mm -hmm. the lung, the space would be so big that it would have to take his whole lung out. Oh but by God. using this patch, I put the patch over the trachea and the tracheal cells that he had in his body next to the patch saw that there was an empty space and they were able to grow into that lattice work and three months later, we took a biopsy and it's completely normal That tissue. is a miracle. That's a medical miracle. I want to pull up that first slide. It's slide number two. Can we pull that up? We're gonna pull that up in a minute. They're gonna get it. Okay. And I love this because you sent this and I love what it says. It says, uh, it's not the strongest of the species that survives, nor the most intelligent that survives. It is the one that is most adaptable to change. And that's what, that's that's what, what this is all about. This. this is what we're doing. Let's go to the next slide that we sent and maybe you can describe this. What you see here is the, in the upper left hand picture, that's the actual patch. That's how it looks when it comes out of the, the box that it's packaged in. Uh -huh. And down below, it, what the patch comes from, it comes from the, uh, the uh, gut of uh, pigs. And they take out <laughs> the layer. You're kidding me. No. They take out the layer. If you look in the upper right hand corner, mm -hmm. that's the small bowel, it's part of the gut of a pig. And the little layer inside is a submucosa. The purple is a picture of just the submucosa and the lower left hand is a dye sting picture of what we take out of the, the gut uh -huh. of the pig. And then they wash it all out of any antigen so it doesn't react, your body doesn't react to it, and they wash all the cells out of that area. And if you can go to the next slide. Can you pull up the next slide? When it's done on the right, that's what it looks like under an electron microscope. Yeah. All the cells are washed out. And then in real life on the left side, that's what the patch looks like. And all it is is the intercellular matrix of the small male mucosa of a pig. And the body sees that and says there's no cells are there and it realizes something's missing. So since if you put it in the this aorta. This is pig, this isn't fetus, this isn't controversial because it's just a pig, I mean, sorry PETA, but it's a pig, right? Right. Okay. And it's FDA approved to use and it's not, it's not used, um, it has, like I said, it's not antigenic so it doesn't cause any immunologic reactions. You don't have to be on uh, anti uh, immunosuppressant drugs like a transplant. Your body won't reject it. Your body just sees the, yeah. the empty girders, like I said, like a skyscraper and fills in it with whatever tissue is next to it. Unbelievable. Let's pull up the next slide. You can explain this. And this was when they, they first started in 2001. These are pictures of animal studies that they first started using the patch on. The one in the upper left is a bladder. The one in that uh, they grew with the around the patch and grew into an animal bladder. The mm -hmm. one below is a, a tendon that it grew into. And uh, the one in the upper right is actually a heart that they used to patch over the, the right side of the heart and it grew into the heart. And uh, the final one, the lower right is a uh, valve that it grew into a heart let's, valve. Let's go to the next slide. And this, this slide kind of shows where 
you can replace tissue all, everywhere, right? Right. This is all the areas in the human body that this has actually been used clinically. And I, I mean, from the top of your head to the genitals, all the way to the feet, everywhere. everywhere. I've, I've personally used it in uh, carotid artery surgery to patch the carotid. Uh -huh. I've patched the aorta with it, patched the right coronary artery in a patient that had an aortic dissection. Told you about the tracheal tumor I used it on. Use it to a little replace girl. a diaphragm. So. Okay, I want to talk about this little girl's life that you saved um, with this procedure, right? Was well, that yeah, that, this was a young girl that, that drank okay, a lot. Okay, okay, we can't, we don't want to tell the story because we got to take a break. You guys got to hear the story. It is a medical miracle, and this man is saving lives daily. We'll be right back. Stick around. We'd like to welcome back a local surgeon who's using one of the latest developments in stem cell research to save lives, many lives. And I'd like to welcome back Dr. Mike Kumjan to Prime Time. Let's finish the story about the, uh, the girl, the teenage girl whose life you saved using stem cell patches. Yeah, she was a college student and her, uh, her roommate left a bottle of lye that he used at work in the refrigerator. And she came back from a run one day and thought it was uh, uh, Gatorade drank it and it uh, was an acid so it destroyed her esophagus which is the tube connecting to your stomach and went into her trachea so the whole area of her lungs and esophagus was eroded and we were able to use a stem cell patch to replace part of the esophagus and also mainly to replace the whole large portion of her trachea and bronchi which are the branches going mm -hmm. to her lung and now she's moved back to she moved to Los Angeles and she's doing fine three years later. That is amazing. She'll have a normal life because of it. Yes. That's um, that's amazing. And and many other ways. I mean, the heart, many organs. About how many organs can they save? Well, you can use it in in. To they're working on replacing heart valves. We aren't clinically doing that now, mm -hmm. but we're using it to replace the aorta, which is the big artery that comes out of the uh, the heart. And I had a patient that had an aortic dissection, which is similar to what John Ritter, for example, mm. died of, that they couldn't save him. And I used the patch to replace part of his coronary artery, which is very difficult to replace. That's the blood vessel supplies blood to your heart itself. So there's many, and I had a patient that had a large diaphragmatic hernia, which is the area of the muscle in your lungs that helps you breathe. Mm -hmm. And I replaced that with this large patch, and the whole part of the diaphragm six months later was completely normal. Is it less evasive than normal surgeries, or...? The same. It's, it's the same amount of uh, invasiveness. Mm -hmm. In other words, you can use it uh, with, in doing lung surgery with thoracoscopic techniques, which means you use either the robot or use cameras. So you can still sew it in mm -hmm. using minimally invasive techniques. The ideal advantage is that after three months, instead of having a patch that's going to be prone to infection, mm -hmm. it's going to be stiff, replacing your aorta. You have normal aortic tissue that's going to be with you the rest of your life. Isn't that great? It's normal tissue. It grows into your own tissue. Exactly. That's the key. Can they do the it for thing. faces? <laughs> I just kidding. I don't know. Let's pull up the rest of it. your slides. Yeah, forget facelifts. You'll just replace your own face. Um, let's pull up the other slides that we have, folks. Okay. There. What? This is when we first started. We used it uh, the patch to replace the pericardium, which is a lining over the heart. And every time you do a heart operation, you have mm -hmm. to take part of that out. So that's showing the patch uh, in place over sewing the, uh, the, par the part of the heart that uh, would normally be called the pericardium. And these pictures are three months later where it's now completely replaced and grown back in and you can't see any remembrance of the original patch. That is just a miracle. Go to the next uh, slide, please. And what are and we this is uh, a year after surgery. Somebody had to be reoperated on. They're showing that when they reopened the pericardium, they couldn't mm -hmm. tell anywhere where the patch was or where the normal pericardium was. The two slides on the right our CAT scans, one's a 3D CAT scan and one color CAT scan and one is a regular CAT scan showing that the pericardium is completely contiguous and you can't tell any difference between normal and, and patch. Whereas if you had a regular patch in there, you'd obviously be able to see the, the patch and see the foreign body. Would it look like a patchwork type? Exactly, yeah. Oh my gosh, okay, let's see, next, next slide. And this is a, uh, a girl that had the patch placed to um, replace her pericardium when she was only four days old. And then they had to reoperate four months later. Wait, the so girl was a four month old. Four infant. day old. She was four yeah. days old and she okay. had to have a heart surgery. So they replaced her pericardium with the core matrix stem cell patch. They had to reoperate four months later. And when they reoperated, they couldn't, there's the patch. It looks exactly like normal tissue. You can't tell the difference. It's patch just, is gone or it's just normal tissue. It's just amazing, amazing. So if viewers were out there and, and they had family that would, that needs surgery or how would they reach you? Well, they can um, 
you want my telephone number or just no, stay calling? No, no, <laughs> do don't give out your cell phone. Number. No, I'm in my office. Like um, a website. No, Where they can uh, look on the uh, Sharp website. I'm on there or Scripps Mercy Healthcare. I also work there. And you're the f finest cardiac thoracic surgeon around by far and a great friend. And Thank you're you. saving lives. Again, my hero. Thank you, Mike. I appreciate you coming on to Primetime. Thank you so much.